The Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. I like the Luigi's Mansion series, but this is one I never could get into. I think at the time it was because I needed to play it on a handheld, and I don't enjoy playing games on handheld. I can only name a few games that I played on the handhelds to completion, and most of them start with Ace Attorney. I even trudged through Professor Layton vs. Phoenix Wright on the 3DS, because I love the Ace Attorney series so much, and my regular watchers of my videos know how much I f***ing hate that game. However, my love for Phoenix Wright kept me playing. To those of you who have not heard my rants about Layton vs. Phoenix Wright, let me just say it was my first introduction to Professor Layton, and in it, I found him to be a complete asshole and unlikable, much like Professor E. Gad in this game, but we'll get to that. Now before anyone asks, I doubt I'm going to play the Investigations games. I could change my mind, but I never really liked them. I missed the court battles. I thought the first game had a novel concept, but I think the second game was too dragged out, and I found it less interesting. Now this game is a port, and an upscale scaling of the 3DS title Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. The only experience I had with it was playing a couple missions and not liking the flow of the game and turning it off. There really isn't anything new in this release, which was a bit frustrating. The mission structures of the game don't work with the series. It kills the flow of the story and gameplay. I do understand why they did it on the 3DS, as the pick up and play nature of the mission structure can facilitate short play sessions. However, they should have retooled it for the console release. Now does that mean this is a bad game? No! Far from it! It can be Fun, and it had a lot of enjoyable moments. I actually loved the cutscenes they had in this. It was very impressive how many there was, and they did a good job of setting up the world and giving Luigi plenty of emotions for us to experience. There were some fun missions which had unique ideas, and some of the quote unquote mansions that he goes to had some interesting designs, but I got really tired of the busy work missions, or having to retrieve a certain number of items that happened to be stolen from you right before you were about to use it. It would have been interesting once, but when it happened the fifth time, I got a little frustrated. Now this is about Luigi, who is forcefully kidnapped from his home, where he's just relaxing by the biggest jerk in this game, Professor E. Gad. He is an insufferable jack in this one. He laughs at Luigi's fears, and he does nothing while Luigi is cleaning up his mess. Luigi clearly doesn't want to be here, but that doesn't matter to him. Forget King Boo. He's the true monster of this series. The professor tells Luigi that he's been studying these different places in the valley, which were filled with all these ghosts. So it makes me wonder, what happened in all these places that there are so many dead people? The professor says that the dark moon that has been keeping the ghosts from getting aggressive has been broken up, and now the ghosts are running amok. So instead of leaving these poor souls who are just trapped in these places, he has Luigi suck them up and throw them into a containment unit, much like the one the Ghostbusters use. I think it would have been cool if just one mission had Luigi helping them cross over, instead of catching them. Maybe it was a family who died, and you need to help them find each other to move on. Or solve their murder! It just would have been something different and I think that would have been cool. Maybe in Luigi's Mansion 4. Speaking of the mansions, there are quite a few different ones this time around. However, to call them mansions is being very generous. Most of them were just factories. Only the first one and the last one you go to I think could be called a mansion. The places that you go to have a different variety of the looks and the ideas behind it. However, I kind of wanted the story behind the people who lived in these places. Someone made a life here. Why not have optional lore collectibles, which explores the people that lived here originally? That would build out the world more. The Ouija uses his vacuum to suck up ghosts. He needs to use the light to stun them before he can grab them. However, this could actually be different for each of the ghosts that you encounter. Even the easiest and most common ghosts they sometimes have a gimmick with them that you need to overcome first. Maybe they're wearing sunglasses, or they might attack you with a sword. You need to find the right time to stun them, or suck up the item they're holding in order to find an opening. Now this is a much harder game than you might expect. I died quite a few times. Luckily they do give you a second life in the form of a bone, which you can find if you collect enough treasure in the mission that you're in. The ghost dog will lick you back to life, which was very sweet. I really did like the ghost dog. When it showed up in levels, it was a bit annoying, since it would often steal the item that you need, but it was still a cute character, and just wanted to play with Luigi and had no malice. So replaying the rooms with it again wasn't that bad. I wish they didn't do this multiple times. If it happened once or maybe twice, it would have been a fun distraction, but to go to that well a few times was a little annoying. There is a multiplayer mode called the Scare Scraper, where you're going up a certain number of floors. There are three modes to play. There's one where you have to collect a certain number of ghosts to get to the next floor, one where you have to capture a few ghost dogs, and one where you have to find an exit. I do hear there are more modes that you can unlock if you get to a certain floor, or expert mode in all three game modes, but there's no way I could do that. I beat the main game by the skin of my teeth. 
All the modes were fine. There was nothing I would want to replay, but they were fun enough. I was able to find a few random people to play this with me, and there was no issues with it. I do wish they added in a split screen play for the Switch release. The littlest one to play the multiplayer mode with me. And he couldn't because he didn't bother to add that mode if there were other people in the room with you. Now again, this is just a straight port and upscaling. So they really didn't do any extra work on this game. And it shows. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD was good. I liked the upgraded visuals and it looked good on the TV. The mission structures are terrible though. It breaks the gameplay flow. Overall, the game is still fun though. And I do think when this is on sale, it's worth it. If you played Luigi's Mansion 3 and enjoyed it this will be something that you also enjoy but the game is not as good as that one so if you want to try this i would say wait for it to go on sale